Yeah, I stole this hippie bus from them hippie freaks way back. Fair and square, it's mine. It's all mine. All right, so the car is together, and I was going to show you how I put it all together, but it uh, wasn't working out real well. <clears throat> yeah, not well at all. Like, the car got stuck between the doors, and then I went down into the bottom to get my toolbox, came back up, and the car flipped over. Uh, so it was enough of that. There was a lot of messing around, and just don't want to waste your time. So, as you can see here, putting the gas, I think that's all the gas that I get out of this can. I'll throw this back in the van right away so we can bring it back to town. Other, other side, right here. Um, I did put oil in it. Get in there. I did put oil in it, and the three brake fluids. Um, you could see this side right here is just all sorts of ugly. Uh, I tried to take the sledgehammer, take it out, but that didn't work either in the front. Banged all up, couldn't even get the bumper on. But it is what it is, and she's here. We'll take it to the mechanic and see if he can, well, I should say the body guy, body shop, see if he can't fix it. Um... But we are ready to fire this baby up for the first time. I'm going to show you what I got up in here. What the dag nabbit? I think this car door hits this door and wants to bounce back right away. Probably the same with that. No, it's not with that either. Okay, so everything's together. Like I said, we got these three containment part compartment tank things here thingies brake fluid in all three of these um, that took I don't know one pint one container for each one so three total oil one container for here not sure if I need more looks like it was full one container of coolant in here and it should be all all set to go all done now another weird thing too is like the bolts right here for holding the hood on you can see them coming through because there's a dent there so it's ugly but it's together let's fire it up didn't bounce back this time okay so Shut this if I can. There we go. Okay, now um, choke. There is a choke here. We're gonna pull choke. Cigarette lighter. Hmm. Tunes. Hazards. Now it's gonna rain. I swear. Every time. Every time. Every time I record a video, sorry, I was getting distracted with the light switch. Every time I record a video, it rains. It rains. So I think the last recording I had was the season, season two, episode two. And that was, I believe, a Wednesday. Um, and now it's a Saturday, so it took me quite, quite a few days to get this thing together like I said with all the complications I had in this little garage with the car getting dented up by the doors and flipping around um, let, let's see if our hard work was worth it press enter ignition oh, that's that's real nice hers like a kit 
That sounds really, really good. Now let's see if we put in some gears here. Go in the reverse. We got some reversage. Cool. That's so far so good. Let's go forward. Uh, I don't think I don't think I have brakes. How's that go back there? That back in all the way. Let's go backwards again. I don't have brakes. Thought I did. But I'm braking and it's not working. Okay, let's go back forward. And I think she just stalled. Huh, interesting. Maybe it still needed some choke? It's hard to tell. Oh, we're gonna key it. Pull that up, that'll stop us. And then let's see what's going on with these brakes. But she purrs like a kitten. I would say it was successful. Um, there was some adjustments with the, the valves. Um, exhaust valves. Intake valves. Um, the turn thing. So what I did for the turn thing. Open window. Interesting. It does actually work this time, huh? can't get out of here. You're still in driving mode? Okay, let's get out. How the heck? Oh, pull the handle, duh. Alright. There we go. So, um, the valves to adjustment, uh, to adjust them was with the screwdriver, once you take off that valve cover. Now, why isn't that... Okay probably open already um stupid come on try again okay okay maybe now you can hear me because the rain's gone there we go now you take this cover the rocker cover off there's you use a screwdriver and you want to turn turn them all in like to tighten them up like righty tighty all the way in and then click it back seven or lefty loosey seven times on all of them that's what I did um, the other thing was the carburetor um, I think it says like 14 or 18 different settings um, I did the same for that as I did for the valves same same turn them all in back it up seven and she purrs pretty good from what we could hear with the rain. Now let's try again once. Maybe we get, ow. Maybe we can uh, hear a little bit better, you, you know? All right, let's pull this choke out. We'll pull that out, enter driving mode. Starts right up. lever run we could come up and hire you know you take this off and then you could probably push on that carburetor and make your adjustments maybe while she's running I know I've seen some people were doing that and that's how they know uh, when they get rid of the the ticking noise so you could very well do that too I'm looking for a hand to see if I can reach under this air cleaner for 
um, that flapper thing, give it some gas. Can't find it anywhere. Okay. So, that's it. Um, maybe back here we can hear a little better. Sounds weird. Sounds like it's a maybe a timing thing, but I don't think you can adjust timing. Just the valves and the carbs. Fan looks like it was going for the the radiator. I'm not sure. Let's let's uh I mean just like a real car in real life, we're gonna leave it run and see what's going on with it, you know? But I think that, that that's the temp and then the fuel and I think I, I think we're doing pre pretty good. Let's put this choke back in once. I notice maybe a little bit of a difference. But I'm not sure if you'd be able to tell. Maybe just sped up a little bit. So, that's that. Now we gotta figure out our brakes. Let's shut this off. Okay, shut that off and figure out what's going on with our brakes. Probably just like a bolt screw thing missing or something wasn't done. Because you got, you got here, got that. I mean, all these are tight. <clears throat> they're all tight. And there was like maybe it's that thing you know that looks like it was tightened up but maybe it's not yeah but think it would be something easy I don't remember if those were seven eight something let's get some tools bring the two box over here all right number one I'll bring it up over here see if we can't um, See if we can't figure it out. Now we've got five, six. Let's try six. Yeah, that was another thing I wanted to try too. And you can hear the bubbling in the background. Um, I did put together a special recipe from my great great grandpappy. Um, and she's bubbling up. So we're gonna give her a try see if we can't get some of that going in our game now I don't know if that's tight or not but I don't even know I don't even know if we ever really did tighten that I mean no I, the alternator we did you put the belt on and then you pull her tight and it only goes so far then you tighten that screw back up and then that's it I want to see if I can't hit that one I'm gonna have to stand up. Try to up. Just wanna see. There. Crouch down, see if we can't see this right here. There, look at that. That was loose. Right there. We got her tightened up and then she goes down. Now, just double check all these other ones because I know there's like a block over here that's got all this stuff tightened up to it. Now I know there's this one and that one I remember loosening up and then tighten up just to double check it. Make sure that it was right. See if I can get a better angle up in here. Got one there. I thought there was one. One on the bottom. There's one. And two. And then the top one. No. Two. One. Two, three, yeah, I don't see any. One, two, three, 
and then the one over here four let's go double check underneath because it's hard to see <clears throat> I got this fuel tank tightened up I know that for sure um, but there was something else that I was trying to follow a, a guide for some of the body stuff and it really didn't tell me to tighten this one up but I did anyway what is that that looked like a bolt that's not tightened that just looks like a connection for the fuel and we know we're getting the fuel that's the fuel line right there okay but I'm really not sure about the brakes this this right here this thingy here looks like it would be for the emergency brake like when you put the emergency brake in the car right here you got four bolts and then you would have to come underneath the car and tighten this one up remember them bars that are kind of sitting there in the way that one looks tight yeah that one looks tight double check it is um there's these little bars sitting here when you did the rear end stuff yeah that's what these bars are for for the emergency brake so come down here tighten this up if you have and if nobody told you if you can figure it out your e-brake don't work check that out that might be why so now there's all this other linkage and stuff too we know that that works so many things light up under here and when they do I just double check them I just kind of always did that so I wonder if my brakes didn't work because of that one that one bolt you know um, and, and that would be like over here you can't even really see it that one looks like it's for the subframe in front what's that that's tight too yeah not really seeing like a good way to show you what I was tightening up when we were up on top but it does come down in here and do some other weird funky stuff and I think what is that hand for I don't know oh <laughs> for the door sure I just reach on through up over here and then do it I guess okay okay so let's go check it out now maybe it's just that one nut wasn't tight for the brakes and now it is so we should have some brakes now in the comments below let me know if you want me to go through and show you how I do my adjustments I can and like I said it's out there it's easy but I can show you any other comments or questions you have for me to include in the video let me know the other thing we could go through too is the fan belt if you're unsure and the carburetor that too so let me know I'm not going to make one I don't think unless you let me know that you would like to see me do one and don't forget to like the video subscribe if you haven't Dalton Cleus Jackson's got hopefully a lot more episodes and I know you don't really want to miss one see she started up without the choke so, alright, we're just going to back up a little bit. I'm not sure if it needs to be really cold or a first start of the day or something where you would use that. Okay, we're in reverse. Put that down. Giving it a little gas. Okay, now you see. Nope, still no brakes. Still no brakes, so there's got to be something else. And we stalled it. Okay. Maybe that's what the choke's for then.
Yeah, no brakes still. Pull that up. We're gonna have to do some more research. Put that in, get out of here. So we did find one thing. And we're gonna have to find more things. Um, cause, yeah, it's not working too well. And we'll close that so we can open it. Okay. Um, so again, again, just gonna have to go through and see, uh, you know, double check you make sure that we tighten everything up. Now it looks better if we got our wrench out. I'll be looking for something to tie in. And like I said, uh, this one right here, we, we did miss it. You can see it. Yep, missed that one. That comes from here, comes over, and that one goes left. But that one there comes over here, goes down, like from the block, from that splitter diversion block thing. Um, it's too bad with the brakes, you know? I mean, we could be, we could be out there getting it. Instead of trying to troubleshoot this thing. Now, maybe we need more fluid, but the way it looked was like it was all full. Don't think we need more fluid. But I'm not really saying it unless um, there was like a, a thing to tighten up on the wheels. Um, there should be like a troubleshooter manual. Like if you don't have brakes, check this, this, and this. Uh, we'll have to, to look into it a little bit, and when I find it, I'll let you know. All right, like the video, subscribe, uh, comment below if you want to see some other videos where I'm adjusting this stuff. She purrs like a kitten. I'll show you exactly how I did it. Um, let me know. We'll catch you guys later. Take care. Okay, so we did a little bit of looking around for more of the brake stuff. We just had to take it a step further. Now, what I found here was that I never tighten these up that go to the uh, uh, caliper. I guess that that would be the brake caliper, uh, front brake caliper. The line needs to be tightened up to it. So right here is one. It looks like it's on the top. And I never even thought twice to do that. And I would imagine there's one on this side. So there we go. We got those two. Looked like there was, you know, like four on that block. And then there was one in the middle. One screw right there in the middle. And then there was two that connect up here. We got those, and we got that other one to come down, which was another one that is part of that system right there behind all that stuff. So just double check you that you get these calipers. Like I said, I tighten all the other stuff up except for this one down here and I missed the calipers. So now we're going to check that we got brakes. Hopefully... We're done with it then. We can take this little baby for a spin. Okay. Shut the door. Enter the driving mode. We're going to pull this choke out. I think it won't kill on us or quit. Start right up. Perfect. Put it in reverse. We're going to just make sure we got the brakes. Oh, we got brakes on right here. Shut the handbrake off for sure, of course. Still do not have brakes. Now I wonder if I didn't tighten them up on the back either. So, still no brakes. I want to make sure we could walk, walk down the stairs. No brakes still, though. That's not good. So we'll bump it on in here. We don't want to drop her down. Okay, good. Let's throw that in. 
Throw that in, shut her off. Get out. And we'll go check the back ones. Well, if there's some for that, I know I didn't get those either then. Bring a tool out. I don't think... I don't think that there was anything for it. As far as tightening up back there. So, again, unless it's on the top, and then I'm not going to see it. So you can see through here, there really isn't much to the back end. Oh, look at that. Whatever that is, I just tighten her up. Looks like it was for over here, though. Right here. Somewhere. Is that a bar? Bar with a block or something? Something? Hmm. And this one... Oh! Found it. So... To me, it looks like there is a couple connections for, I don't even know where that goes, but that looks like it was for the brakes. Okay, um, yeah, you'd think there'd be something to it, and that might be this hose thing right here. All right, we got to get something to drink quick, right quick. We'll just do it right quick. Just going to drink out the tap. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, there's our brew right there. We got that thing on bubble time. I was told it's going to take a few days, like a week, five days, something like that. So I don't know. I guess when it's done bubbling, we'll open her up. Okay. Well, we got something to drink. Ooh, we're getting hungry in a little bit. So now we tightened up the front calipers the front hose connections to the calipers and the rear connections to the drums drum and shoot calipers in the front so try her again shut the door enter our driving mode we'll pull the choke starts right up perfect take the handbrake off and we're gonna get it into you. It's like, let's just let's just go. Weird. I'm not in the driving mode. There we go. Okay, now. No, still nothing. Still don't think I have the brakes here. Nope. Nothing there. Quite, it's quite the shame. All right. That is quite the shame. You know what? I think we're gonna have to pull up a little bit more. Can't really see. Okay, right there. Let's try that. Boom. Boom. And so I will keep looking and I will come back and show you what I find. All right. There, found it. This one was in full. And now I don't know if I need to get another one. I think I do because I missed it. It was still feeling but I think we need four can't see in there doesn't see, the other ones look like there's fluid in it this one does not think I'm gonna need to get some more all right gas station run 